and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the Free American Empire, also known as Fascist USA. <sighs> well, people, it's getting interesting quickly. Where is the body count at? Soviet Union has suffered 5.65 million dead, and they have 234 to 733 divisions. We do have 538 divisions, so, so we are doing, I, let's get this rolling. We do have plenty of divisions. The problem is getting them in the field and keeping them supplied. That is the massive problem. Hey, look at this, Bradley's guys are completely out of supply. They're sitting in the desert dying of malnutrition, dying of thirst. <sighs> and I can't do much about it. Nope. It'll improve once I get the this done here. In Egypt. Otherwise, we are in a bad stalemate in Africa. A very bad stalemate in Africa. Patton is pushing hard. That's decent. How's our India campaign going? We are completely and utterly surrounded. Which one are you? No, that's not true. No. Thank you. Yes. Oh, uh, despite what it looks like, he's doing decent. Just try and knock out this one little empire, take this port, improve our supply situation. Maybe we'll land a second army there. And, well, we do have a second army planned already. 17th. Yes, they should be heading over there. China is <laughs> going better in the north. Let's just put it like that. We have two armies here, and we can't make any progress. Mr. Brooks, you are right there. Yeah, you're not going very well. Your tanks are going down in quality to green because your supply, your uh, reinforcements. All right, let's go ahead and let you stop your assault for a little bit. And you, on the other hand, Mr. Keys. Your assault's actually going pretty well. Have you guys captured that damn airfield yet? No, it's right there. How's construction going over here? Wrong one. Oh, that's already a 10. What about your port? Did we improve the ports? Yes, we are improving the ports. But your supply situation is pretty good. Let's go up to the north, start with Eisenhower. He's got the big army. He is definitely making progress against the Soviets. I don't quite realize what he's doing all the time, but he is making progress. Alright, let's try this. You go over there. Go. Okay, that didn't work. No, 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 keep going forward, don't stop. Now, who's next on your list? You, Mr. Kruger. You shouldn't even be on the front.
You're El Sal or Argentinian or El Salvador. Whichever they are, you know, their supply situation, their equipment situation is horrendous. Oh, hell. What is this guy? Mr. Clark, Mr. Clark, Mr. Clark. Oh, hell. That's right. Clark has himself a very large piece of land he has to defend. All right, stick to defense for now. We're going to have to get another army over to help you. Your line is horrible. Let's put together another army. Griswold? What the hell happened, Griswold? <laughs> what, what, what happened, Griswold? Alright. Back to China. You are in charge. Griswold. Damn it. Hebner, Hebner. Okay, you are the wrong one. There we go. That's the front. Uh, you first need to go to Asia. Now we're going to give you a front. Probably should have given you the northern front. I think I will do that. Because Clark has orders to move south. Rather than change Clark's orders. We'll change. Give you different orders. You are to penetrate into Mongolia. So get there and make me look good. Don't be square. Get there or be square. Get it. Get it. I'm gonna have to come up with another army for this part of China too. Start forming up in big ass infantry armies. How's India going? Yeah, we got another army group. 16th, there it is. 17th. Can't really click on it and modify it. Yeah, there are orders. The new army is to push to Siam to close out this border. And we have not checked on Sweden in forever. Look at that. That's beautiful. We almost have... Holy shit. I think he lost some divisions. His supply is becoming ugly. Go ahead and relax. Be on the defensive for a little bit. Your equipment situation is not pretty. You look, all of his units have gone to green. That's where the clovers are there. And you look at the brown bar next to the green bar. That's the equipment situation. Now, 
let's look at our Marines. No, wrong ones. We... Oh, man. Okay. What the hell is this? Gonna try to hold on to this port. Maybe we'll uh, send some reinforcements here and try to come up the rear. But what was Griswold's orders if he got massacred? I know. He was supposed to come down here and take. No. That's him. You're done training. You're also fired. Griswold, you got Marines again. I know what Griswold's orders... No, I don't. I wish I knew what Griswold's orders were. He obviously ran into somebody's navy. Oh, it's right here. That was Griswold. He was going across to here. Lost 15 convoys. No. There he is. He ran into the Russian Navy. I'm going to have to get some surface ships over there. Russians want to show their Navy. I can turn around and handle that. and ground? Alright, you are completely and utterly refreshed. Let's try going. Oh, nice. Nice. That break did him some good. Well, uh, except for this one right here. Gave you orders to cease and desist. Take a break. Go on a defensive for a little bit. We have a supply advantage. No matter how bad our supply situation is, we are still better off than the enemy. Waiting for reinforcements. We gotta give you four more divisions just to get you completely up to strength. Alright, I kind of do it up here in the north. Oh, God. I hate the way they move their divisions around in circles. I'm like, what in the holy hell is the AI thinking of? I know the AI doesn't think. That's not the point. The point is, it's still stupid. Alright, let's go ahead and put port up here. And move it up to the top. Make sure that we can work all of this. Yeah, we're just falling behind in a couple. But it's not horrendous. And since Ethiopia is almost done, it'll work out. Alright, I, I, I. <sighs> okay, I take a break catch your breath and get ready to try again. That's completely nonsensical. He's surrounded. I got an idea. Wipe them out. It's not that hard. He's surrounded. Do, be quick about it. That's the reason why I have to use two divisions. It's 
So shouldn't this new Mughal Empire or whatever the hell it was have capitulated by now? Yeah. The, oh, no, no, no. It's on, like, East and West Pakistan. It's also here. Yeah. Yeah, because this later, in real life, this became Bangladesh, and it was East Pakistan, I believe. Could be wrong about the actual name of it. Yeah, we're waiting for reinforcements to come. He's waiting for Navy to show up. And I just can't capture that damn airfield. airfield very close to the front. just banging his head into the wall. He's not really having any success, but he's not having any failure. Alright, let's get him four more divisions. Do I have anything other than infantry? No. 20... Uh, make sure that he gets... That way, the AI will move them across the world for me. Alright, we got more divisions. Boom, boom, boom. Got a new ace. More army, more divisions for the reserves. That? No, that is not. This. Yes, and you get signed, so never mind. I should have more MPs coming at any time. Let's go ahead and pop them all out now. There we go. Now this is where it's going to get silly, because I don't know. I should be giving these guys too. But everyone needs a little help. So we'll just spread them out to the five continents. Because we have a lot of resistance. It's not getting any better. Oh hell. Battles in China turned against us. And he lost the division. You son of a bitch. What are you doing to me? Break. You, uh, you're 
still trying to punch your way through their line. All right, Ike. I just did a face palm. I give him a break, and what? He's moving his troops all over the damn place, and they're not doing anything except for going around in circles. I swear the AI is utterly useless. I'm still face palming. divisions. Ran into enemy fleets and lost three divisions. There's one right there. And I got even got subs there with orders to search and destroy. You're killing me. Yeah, the subs are sitting in the port. Alright, where's my first fleet? Yes, Navy Group 1. Split it. You've got plenty. Select the 14th Navy Group. Need a new commander. All right, your orders are to search and destroy and gain me control of the Indian Ocean. Here. Create a ten for you. How about Singapore? All right, Singapore is an eight. That's close enough. And I will increase Singapore. Wrong one. To a ten. Russian ships dead. How can my offensives succeed when I keep on losing entire armies, because the, the, that was how the Marine Landing Force got lost. Five divisions there. At least a th no, three divisions. Whatever that last combat was, it lost another division. So multiple armies are losing multiple divisions crossing the ocean. This is what I mentioned about the nightmare of... Look, there's more defeats. This time it's the Spanish. I got two escorts there. Let's move one over. He's even supposed to be in there. And he's still not doing his job. Wow. Bradley was able to punch forward through the desert. Congratulations. How's 
infrastructure looking? Okay, we can improve this one now. Boom, do it. I don't care about the cost. We need it done. Improving the Sahara Desert from nothing infrastructure max. <laughs> That's nuts. But I've got to keep my troops supplied. That's the most important thing. We are pushing forward, so I'm very happy about that. I had given up on Africa. Well, not given up. I just thought it was going to be a never-ending quagmire. Never-ending stalemate. But Bradley pulled through. Thank you. Wait a minute. Where's George? There's George. I was going to go, did George lose his entire army? Nothing sucks more than when your favorite general is getting his ass kicked on a consistent basis. George, take a break. And train your guys. You're not going to have to do it for a while. You're almost completely trained, so. I'm going to bring him up. Who is that? Rose. Once I get up to here, I'm going to back these guys off, bring up Rose, and try to push in and knock out the Neo-Ottoman uh, Neo Empire, the Iraqis People's Republic, push on into the USSR from the south. Does he have enough? Uh, he's got a lot of tanks, but he doesn't have that many mountaineer divisions. It's going to be rough for him. He's, he's having supply issues. Get nutrition due to low supply. How's our logistics situation? Um, okay, we did. I did add to all of these. I added more anti-tank production. I add, I did not add more mechanized because the second line that we started was just getting started. A medium tank. I added more medium tanks, even though I'm trying to phase them out with modern tanks. really need is airfields close to the front. I'm afraid to look. Where in the hell? There he is. Are you still moving your guys around in different circles? I swear you are. Fuck all that. Just go. Quit messing around and just go. In fact, go aggressive. I'm sick of you, Ike. I'm going to replace you with MacArthur unless you get shit done. I'll take your six divisions. I'm also trying to understand why in the holy hell Those convoys decided to go around the Horn of Africa instead of going over to California, getting on a ship, and then coming over here. Why in the hell did they go the other direction? I control. I have a lockdown on the Pacific. Anyways, we're out of time, people. November 30th, 1953. We're going to end this here. Oh, I need a drink. <laughs> and a good stiff one, too. So until I see y'all again next time, bye-bye.